Hi, I'm Josh Campbell, Horticulture and Agriculture Extension Educator with Oklahoma State University. And today we're gonna to talk about straw bale gardening. Straw bale gardening is one of my favorite gardening techniques because it comes with a lot of benefits. It's easy to get started quickly. It doesn't come with some of the cost and materials associated with a traditional raised bed and not having to buy in wood or other materials and, and, and build something in order to get started. Straw bales are, are inexpensive uh, and they can be established in a garden almost any time during, during the course of the growing season. So even now, in the heat of the summer, you could put together a straw bale garden and, and plant it and have success with a fall garden. Straw bale gardening starts with getting a bale of straw and preparing it to plant in. So another benefit is that if you have mobility issues, maybe you're, you're not able to stoop over, you can actually stack those straw bales up on top of each other and, and grow in an elevated fashion so that you can garden while standing. Straw bales are typically sourced from wheat straw or other other byproducts of, of our crop industry. And so for relatively cheap, you can get a straw bale, anywhere from two to six dollars, you can get a straw bale and get started gardening. As you get started with the straw bale, there's gonna be some preparation though. So you can't just plant right into it. You are gonna to need to create a trench and maybe put in some compost or some sort of soil to start those plants or seeds into. Two to three weeks before you plant, it's also a good idea to start to really heavily water that straw bale. Um, you can even add some, some fertilizer or something to it so you can start that breakdown process and really um, create a, an environment that's gonna be suitable for sticking a plant into. Once you've prepped that straw bale, just like any type of vegetable garden, you can take a transplant, whether it be a, uh, you know, a vegetable, squash, or even an ornamental flower or something, take a transplant and stick it right in to that straw bale. You can also create a little uh, layer of soil in, on top of that straw bale and put seeds directly into that. And that can be the way you plant that bed as well. Straw bales are really fun garden features. You can see here the straw bale that we have behind me, I'm growing green beans on. So we've, we've used a, a little bit of a trellis mechanism planted right into these straw bales and are growing some green beans. You can grow any summer vegetable, whether it be tomatoes or squash or other summer favorites in a straw bale. If you are living somewhere where maybe your, your living situation is temporary, you're, you're renting or you're only gonna be in a peer, uh, place for a short period, but you wanna have a garden um, and you have a little bit of space, a straw bale garden is a great option for you. We have an excellent fact sheet that walks you through how to prepare and set up a straw bale garden, how to plant it, and how to successfully grow crops in a straw bale. Even though it's hot, it's the middle of summer, maybe you haven't started a garden yet, uh, it's not too late. You can actually start a straw bale garden now and grow some successful vegetables through the remainder of the growing season and even into the fall so that you can enjoy the benefits of gardening at home no matter what your situation. If you'd like more information, check out this fact sheet. Go to extension.okstate.edu and you can search for straw bale gardening.